Hey guys, what's going on today? I've got a special video for myself and you lot here, which is the Celebrations Mini Tins. Now I found these as an Asda, so it looks like Asda is starting to get some of the Celebration stuff. Just a little bit late to the party. But I've got four tins here, and I'm going to split this into two because I want to, um, you know, enjoy this a little bit more. So I'm going to open up Gen 2 and Gen 3 today. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll do these ones uh, tomorrow, just so I can separate it out a little bit and i just want to go over what i need from these because if you didn't know these tins have two celebrations packs and on top of that they then have like a regular pack i'm not sure what the regular pack or the coin are so i want to see if the coin is different which i doubt it is because it's one batch um, now as far as i'm aware azure is getting two of the full boxes of eight um in at a time this was the last one remaining so We'll crack into my folder and see what I need to get. So, as I said, this is going to be a quite quite a short video. Just want to long it out a little bit. So I've completed the main set of uh, celebrations, all the hollows. I've put them in different order through their legendary order, um, just because it looks better that way. So like the pairing legendaries and whatnot. Obviously, this is all in order. Um, I've got all of the base set stuff, the majority of the promos. Um, obviously, I know this one doesn't exist here, but it's just a nice uh, Pikachu page here. Uh, and into the classic stuff, so we've got Venusaur Blastoise. I would really like that Charizard. Um, personally, I'm not a massive fan of Charizard as it is, but I, I do need it for the, the triple. Got Zapdos and Magikarp. I need the Gyarados to go alongside that. Uh, the two promos, Zacian and Dracapult. Um, Luxray and Xerneas we've got, um, the other ones I would really like is Mew and Mewtwo EX, more of the promos, Gardevoir EX, Donphan and Groundon, I still need the Clay Doll, even though it's super common, got all of the trainers, um, got the old, old style trainers here, there, and on the back here, we've got Birthday Pikachu, Tapu Lele, which is actually the rarest card of the set, it's like one in... Something like 200, 300, although it's probably one of the cheapest classics, it's still one of the rarest. And the matching two that I obtained in the last video, the ETB, which is the Zetron and the Reshiram. So really I'm looking for the Mew, Mewtwo, Charizard. I would love the Umbreon, but again, not really a fan of it. Um, and then obviously just all in here, I've just got all of, the, uh, all of the McDonald's promos, which I haven't got all of them, but... It's ended now, so yeah, that's what we're looking for. The chase cards currently is Charizard for that triple to complete the starters or the last evolution starters, and any yeah, probably the Umbreon or the Mew or Mewtwo. So we'll crack into uh, Gen 2 first and see what we get. So I'm super happy these come out. I didn't get a chance to go to Smiths when they first arrived. Um, they did do them on delivery, but it was like 3.99 delivery, so it really wasn't worth it. But into the first in here, they're £10, three packs. This is essentially a triple blister. Obviously, the celebrations only have four cards. So, um, artwork-wise, they all connect together. Um, so you can get the full set. I think they have the art cards like usual, so they all connect, which is really nice. If you've got like a binder, they can go in. Um, on the back here, do they have the artwork like they usually do? Yes, they do. So there's the artwork on there. So I'm missing this one here. Got these three, which is really nice, and then this has a separate artwork down here. There were the other tins there, but I just wanted to get my favourites. Um, so let's see what tin we get inside this one. Uh, tin? What coin? I apologise for the noise in the last few seconds. My cat had a shit. Oh, okay. It's the big coin. Oh, this is even better. I didn't know they... Um pop this in here this was in the collector's tin which was gold and it was in i think the, the pin box or something like that it was one of those had the big coin don't be fooled this isn't actually sparkly it's hollow but this is actually printed on there so it, lo it looks really cheap but it's a big coin nonetheless i like that so i presume they're all going to be like that got your art card there which i think is slightly bigger than the basic card so you've got some information on there, it even tells you where it goes, if that would focus. I prefer these over some of the other ones, but they are a little bit pointless. And in here we do have one Celebrations, 
Two celebrations. Oh, and a darkness ablaze. Could not ask for a better lineup. So this uh, will open up a celebrations into Dance Ablaze into the last celebrations. Okay, so let's crack into this first one. I know I've sort of longed out a little bit, but it's because I'm trying to savour this moment. Going to the pop up shop in London in a few weeks, so I've got a few things coming. I don't know why I'm flipping it, no need for that. Okay, so we've got Ground On, we've got Lugia. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, Anization V. Not bad so far. So, of course, the only downside with celebrations is once you've opened up probably 10 plus packs, your bulk is just going to build up. So, if you get anything out of these extra packs here, you're talking. Um, this will be really nice. But I would like at least a classic reprint from each tin if possible. But we got V, so I can't complain so far, even though it is a duplicate. Times like six. It's got Vanillish. Vanillish? We've got Mr. Burns from that one episode. I know everyone says that one. Uh, Serene, Derimaka, Lavatar, Nikit. I don't see this artwork in a little while actually. Bound Sweet, Snubble. We've got Swan and Reverse Rare. Oh, and just a basic Mimikyu. Okay, so on to the last pack of the tins. Um, I was lucky enough to have a friend of mine actually tell me these were here this morning. Because so I went down. And uh, a whole box had, that doesn't matter, had already gone. So I got lucky to even get this one by the looks of it. So we've got Cosmog. Let's probably put that down there. Reshiram. Oh, that is a good one. Whoo! And a Solgaleo. I, I have already got this, but this is a very good duplicate. Um, it's, it's off center a little bit, but that is wicked. What's the centering like? Yeah, on the back it's a little bit off, but that is really good. So buzzed about that one. So we're into the second tin. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the pull rates are pretty good in these. Uh, but yeah, just to clarify, it is the exact same coin. Shame, but um, nonetheless, a big coin, which is cool. Got the art card there, and I'll just pop that. There you go, it connects just there. It's not going to focus though, is it? No, it, okay, well it does focus, it does connect. Uh, and obviously in this one we do have the same two, so we've got, I reckon, a Dance of Blaze pack as well. Two Celebrations, ooh, and a Charizard. So we're going to, ooh, oh my god, what's going on? My hands have got all over the place. Um, so we'll crack into the Celebrations first. No, I don't want that one, I want this one. Um, I prefer the tins over the Pokeball tins, because the, tin, the Pokeball tins are circular and they sort of... They mess up the cards, but these tins, they don't damage them that much, so it's not too bad. Let me take that off. Okay, so we've got a Zekrom. Oh, a Kyogre. This is one of the harder, common ones to get that I found. Oh! Yes! Okay, and it's not that hype of a card, but I needed this one. That is so good. Oh, and a Pikachu full art. Oh my god. Okay, I actually needed this one. Very, very happy. I'm going to have to put it over the Pikachu because I already got that. That is really good. I said the pull rates in this is amazing. Um, okay, super hype. I thought, oh, maybe two two tins won't be enough. But hey, ho, we're, <laughs> we're doing good so far, boys. Okay, Dance of Blaze. Um... Damn, okay, I'm, I'm gassed as it is. To get a, a classic from both, so far so good. That means if there's nothing in that last, oh, and he flipped it, tin, I'm not so fast. As in the last pack. Two more tins as well for tomorrow. Billowing smoke. Whoa, that is sick. I'm really pushing out with some of these cards here. Um, the artwork, I wish they went back to this sort of nice stuff. Cub Chew, Rowlet. Jigglypuff, Diglett with a little temple in the background, Pampor, ooh, Carablast, <gasps> oh, what is going on? That is sick, we've got a V, haven't got this one, um, obviously not, again, not very hype, but that is, that is really good, I mean, I really can't complain so far, we've got a V, the sort of half art, full art, two classic reprints, and a V, and a reverse rare. I mean, I always class that as a hit, but I know people complain. So this one, um, you know, if, if it's 
following the trend of the rest, this won't have anything in it. Why am I so brain dead? Okay, so yeah, classic reprint. One for Tim would be great. If I can get one out of this one and I don't get any tomorrow, I'll be a little bit happy. So, pop that there. Got your Veltal. Got Palkia. Let's do the back one just to see. Professor's Research. And on the back here, just a basic Lugia. Okay, so a little recap from that. We've got a classic reprint Dark Gyarados. Super, super hyped about that one. I did need that one. We've got the Birthday Pikachu. Again, what a card to get a duplicate of. That's a very, very good one. We've got Stunkfish V from the Darks of Blaze, which is always a bonus. Zacian V, the Half Art Pikachu, and on top of that, the Reverse Rare Swanna. So these tins, so far, so good. That's a classic reprint per tin. And by the looks of a V per tin, we've got two classic reprints and two Vs. So I will open up the other two tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.